Yo, welcome back to the channel. Um, just had just had some like crazy news dropped in the SEQ area to do with mountain biking. So let's get in and have a look. So a post by Tim McMahon, who is one of the uh, the main dudes in the council here in Toowoomba. He has just dropped this news. Hi, mountain biking community. Exciting news. We have just delivered council's 23-24 budget. Happy to report there is $3 million allocated this year to the Toowoomba Eastern Sorry, the Toowoomba Escarpment mountain bike trails. There's also proposed significant money in the 2024 and 2025 as well. So yeah, we're gonna be getting a heap more mountain bike trails. It's all been promised a long time ago, like last year, start of last year, that there was heaps of money there. But it's good to see that this is actually going to happen. So, you know, he continues on here. I promise you guys 100Ks of trail. That's this um, new money, obviously, will put us at about 85Ks, give or take, in Jubilee alone. So this won't include Redwood. I know a lot of you guys have seen the plans, and it did say Redwood as well was going to be a part of it with some blacks and double blacks going down that side. That's all being canned, I'm pretty sure I can confidently say that's not going to happen they're exploring other avenues to have trails go down that area as well and yeah so what else we got here i've been told this work has mostly already gone to tender and soil will start to be turned very soon time frames are loose but there should be some done by christmas as always weather permitting of course so obviously you guys can read this just pause this and have a look, or it's also on the Toowoomba mountain biking page. That's where he posted this. Uh, further to Toowoomba, the Crow's Nest mountain bike trails are coming along well. I had no idea there was any trails out there. I know there's fire roads that you can ride, and there's some cool stuff at Peachy, which is just uh, big forest trees, which are pretty fun to ride through. It's really red dirt, um, mostly flat out there. If they put trails in actual Crow's Nest at Crow's Nest Falls, that would be insane. That place is awesome. I've walked through their heaps. That's good fun. I do enjoy that. Um, and it looks like they're going to try and get the rail trail closer to Toowoomba as well. Hopefully that happens. That'd be pretty good. Anyways, that was all the posts from Tim McManon. What I will also show you guys is the actual master plan, which you can find quite comfortably and easy. You just go to the... You, just, you literally just type in Toowoomba Mountain Biking Master Plan, and it comes up. You click on the link, and it's a PDF. So all the trails that are on this plan in white, they're all already there. So you've got, obviously, DFib here that goes down. Um... Yeah, and all the other trails, so pretty much all this stuff down the bottom here was Redwood. This is all Redwood Park, and this is Whitcott down here. Um, all the Redwood stuff, I'm pretty sure, has been canned completely. The Greenies weren't happy with us um, going in there, and I don't know what we were destroying exactly. They were pretty upset about the rainforest, even though it's a dry rainforest. I've walked through there quite a few times. It is a dump. There's lots of um, lantana. It's mostly just all lantana and rubbish. There's so much rubbish in there. Um, but yeah, they, they were really upset about us wanting to build trails in there, I guess. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's all been completely canned. They even had protests and stuff. But since the process happened, I haven't seen them clean it up or do anything in there. It's quite it's quite a mess down in there in Redwood, but oh uh, well, we'll move on. There's going to be there was a plan to have trails come off the top of Prince Henry Heights. Now this is this would be the highest point out of all of this, I reckon. So this would have to be probably 40 or 50 meters higher than where Jubilee actually starts or where Frenzy starts. I'm pretty sure up here at Prince Henry it is a lot higher. And they wanted trails to go down here. There's a fire road that goes through go down through here and over to Whitcott. And if that happened, that would be insane. But there's also more plans to have some trails down at Whitcott and a pump track and dirt facility and all that stuff, which would be just nuts. If we had trails that went all the way from Jubilee, you know, through Prince Henry or even around Prince Henry and went down into uh, Whitcott, that would be so sick. It just conjoined both the little town and Toowoomba together as well. That would be it'd just be awesome. Like, you know, more trails are always awesome. But so let's have a look here. What what might actually happen. Can I zoom in on this? I'm pretty sure I can. Yes, look at that. That is so good. All right, let's zoom right in. So we can forget about all this. None of that's gonna happen, but we've got so much in here that could actually happen. So not too long ago, we really wanted to, um, the mountain bike club was really pushing for this trail here to, to link um, the top of Frenzy over to the uh, top of Ida and Hyperlink. Sorry, not Hyperlink. Ida and um, I can't remember the names, High Life and Calibre Loop and stuff like that, which would have been perfect because this goes across the top of the um, the cliff edge and then it would come up to the top point of where these trails start. And most people don't usually ride over here. I think a lot of people that come to Toowoomba and stuff, at least when I do like mini tours and whatnot, we always just go down the main trails and do 
like the fun stuff because when you get to the bottom here you got to climb back up to ride all of this stuff which isn't a bad climb it's not that high but it still takes if you, if you did this and then climb there you wouldn't make it down for the time in the shuttle like you'd barely make it there but if they had a link trail here i reckon if they built that first that would just be insane um it would just link up the park so much better you'd have e e like an extra run down but what else do we got in here i've walked through this area as well looks like there's going to be a climb trail in here which takes you up to this point this is right next to the uh what would you call it? the quarry which is dissembled but the, there's plans i've seen on the toowoomba website that they're going to make this into like a big garden and a cafe and parking and all that stuff if that happened that'd be sick because it's pretty cool in there trails to the bottom percentage down here this is um pretty much the end of the little oaky creek down the bottom there's a fire road which you can get back up to the grassy knoll and whatnot but if there was trails in there that'd be unreal you see a double black up here um there's not too much elevation there but if that goes from like a bit higher up, there's quite a lot of elevation. That'd be sick. See like a couple of green trails. This in yellow here is actually defib now, which has already been done a long time ago, a fair few years ago. And that's actually defib loop. And yeah, so this is pretty much the big plan. Um, obviously these are the upgrade points where they wanted to upgrade some stuff and all of this in here is gone. But yeah, anyway, if you wanted to see the plan, I'll leave a link below to that. And it's just crazy that it has been confirmed that we're getting $3 million. Well, sorry, Toowoomba is getting $3 million of funding to fund trails. Like 85Ks worth of trails is just, that's nuts, man. Like that is so many trails. And I'd say that would build like almost all of this. Like that's just insane. But anyways, if you wanted to read uh, Tim McMahon's post, McMahon, McMahon, McMahon. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, if you wanted to read his post, you can just go to the Toowoomba Mountain Biking page and follow that, and then his post should be at the top as a pinned comment, and it just outlines everything that you need to know. So, yeah, 85 k's of trail coming to Toowoomba, which is... That's just insane, man. Like, this place is going to be nuts. Like, this is what we've all been dreaming of. Like, I've only been in the scene for a little while, and, man, that's crazy. Toowoomba's going to be way up there on the list now I'd, I'd have to say you'd you'd have to put us at number one in seq after this is all finished but expect most of these trials to be done by christmas so yeah sick anyways peace out